Hi, everyone. This is the Santorini Dave Guide to the Beautiful Town of Hanya, Crete. In this video, we provide a general overview of the most popular and frequently traveled to city on the island. Hanya is the most picturesque and attractive town in Crete, with a 600-year-old Venetian-era old town that is free from vehicular traffic. It's in this maze of narrow alleyways filled with boutique hotels and apartment rentals where most international visitors choose to stay. At its heart is the harbor area, which is guarded at the entrance by a 400-year-old lighthouse, connected to the waterfront by a long, narrow causeway where people sit and enjoy the sunset. Lined with historical buildings, at one end you'll find the fantastic Maritime Museum of Crete, with a beautiful assortment of exhibits inside, including a seashell collection, model boats, historical flags and photographs, war relics, and a great gift shop and outside, commanding views of the harbor from atop a corner tower. In the middle of the harbor, the landmark Yali Mosque, an Ottoman-era domed structure, is the most prominent landmark. And at the very end is the marina with a variety of boat tour companies and private vessels. All along the waterfront is lined with restaurants, cafes, and boutique hotels that are great to people watch from while enjoying a drink or meal at any time of day and the promenade, which really comes to life at night with vendors and street performers, is shared by strolling tourists and horse-drawn carriages. Now, everything featured in this video is explored in our Crete travel guide, and, along with all the other top destinations across Greece, are explained in far greater depth across the pages of our website at SantoriniDave.com. And make sure to subscribe to this channel, as we're constantly adding new content that'll help you to plan your visit to Greece. Just beyond the water's edge, the Old Town is a pedestrian-only tangle of small alleyways filled with great places to eat and shop. At the center of town is the landmark Venetian Fountain on the plaza of Athenagora Square that fronts the large Greek Orthodox Cathedral. And a few blocks away, you can find the Eitz Chaim Tree of Life Synagogue that preserves an over 2,000-year-old Cretan Jewish heritage. Some of our favorite restaurants in Hanya include Chrysostomos and Salis at the far end of the waterfront near the marina, and the special Thalassino Ageri on the eastern edge of town near the hilltop lookout park of the Venizelos tombs, with aerial views over the entire city and coastline of Hanya. There are many excellent places to stay in Hanya, primarily smaller boutique hotels and apartment rentals inside the old town. For more inexpensive accommodation, your best bet will be outside of this historic zone in the newer part of town. The best options in Hanya include Casa Delfino Hotel, a converted 17th century Venetian mansion that's been in the family for six generations. Built around an attractive courtyard patio, there's an excellent spa in the basement and an impressive rooftop terrace overlooking the harbor. Domus Renier Hotel is another quaint and impressive luxury boutique hotel. Guests either enter into the elegant lobby via the narrow alleyway or through the ground level via the hotel's waterfront restaurant. With a uniquely stunning patio and view overlooking the water, the two-bedroom master suite here is potentially the most beautiful in the city. And Serenissima, a small yet very romantic five-star boutique hotel housed inside a 15th century Venetian home in the heart of the old town. From Hanya, you've got many great day trips to choose from, and renting a car or scooter is a great way to get out and explore beyond the city, where you can expect frequent roadside stands selling handmade crafts, local herb-infused honey, oils, and food products. Let's start with the gorgeous and most popular beaches, Balos, Falasarna, and Elefanisi. Most visitors to Balos book a boat trip out of Kisimos, which is about a half-hour drive west of Hanya. From Kisimos, the boat ride is roughly one hour in each direction, with four hours at Balos Beach Lagoon. The beach is extremely popular, so expect large crowds and a very unique and beautiful landscape with shallow, swimming pool-like clear waters surrounded by steep cliffs. Nearby Falasarna Beach is a more traditional sandy beach. If after visiting Balos or Falasarna you're near to Kisimos, the delicious Grambusa restaurant in the small village of Caliviani is a great place to have dinner, 
with stunning views out over gardens and farmland all the way to the sea. And Elefanisi, known for its pink sand, is also extremely popular with huge crowds that arrive from late morning and depart mid-afternoon on day trips from Hanya. If you're able to, we recommend spending a night or two near Elefanisi to enjoy the magical sunrises and sunsets without the massive crowds. If you've rented a vehicle, we suggest driving south to Balos through the canyon and returning to Hanya North on the coastal road. While both roads have gorgeous views along the way, this route provides an opportunity to enjoy a variety of terrain, with plenty of options for brief stops to enjoy the vistas and purchase local crafts and food products. Another great beach adventure is to drive south of Hanya to Svakia, where you can rent your own boat or hop on and off the water taxis between three unique destinations. Sweet water, with fresh water bubbling up right on the beach. Lutro, with an assortment of small hotels and restaurants lining the bay. And Marmara, with a great restaurant and a beautiful series of caves by the water. Hiking the Samaria Gorge, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is also a very popular activity. Through a tour agency, you can coordinate the transportation, which includes a ferry ride from the point where the gorge meets the ocean, to a waiting bus that brings you back to Hanya. An hour or so to the east of Hanya is Rathimnon, a very similar but smaller and less polished city, also with a beautiful Venetian harbor lined with restaurants, a massive waterfront fort, and a narrow pedestrian-only old town. In the hills above Rathimnon, a Greco Farms has a lovely patio restaurant with territorial views over wine vineyards and olive trees all the way to the ocean. There's also the nearby quaint village of Margarites, famous for its centuries-old ceramics tradition, where the streets are lined with small shops selling pottery. And one of the most important religious sites in Crete is the beautiful Arcadi Monastery, where the historical site features extensive gardens, an art gallery, and museum. Most visitors to Hanya arrive to and or depart from the Cretan capital city of Heraklion via the ferry port or international airport, though Hanya does have a smaller airport and ferry port of its own. To get between the two cities, which is a roughly two-hour drive, your choices include renting a car, public bus, or private van service, which can usually be arranged through your hotel. As always, you can find lots more detailed information about Crete and the rest of Greece's most popular destinations across the pages of our website, SantoriniDave.com. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it with a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel as we're constantly adding new content that will help you in planning your visit to Greece and beyond. Thanks for watching.